What is going on, my good old friends of YouTube? It's your boy Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So listen up, man. We're going to break down Palantir in this one, do a quick chart update, go over how it's looking right now in the midst of an overall red day where we have the Russell down over 1%, the Dow is down half a percent, the S&P is down 02 and we have the NASDAQ pretty much at break even, but leaning a little bit more towards the red. So jam-packed video. If you guys find value, hit the like like button, feel free to subscribe and come on. Don't forget to get your free stocks from Moomoo up to 15 stocks, each up to two thousand dollars. Just use that link down below. Check out the QR code right here or go to stocksurfest.com slash moomoo. Get your stocks, guys. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So check it out. It is currently about 12:20 p.m. right now on the East Coast, so we're pretty much halfway through the day. Uh, we're getting there, right? And Palantir stock, like I said, we have a red there across the board right now. Palantir is also in the red. We're selling down 36 cents, down 1.5% right now, and we're at $24.12 as we are now down about $1.30 uh, from the highs yesterday. Yeah, it looks like we're down a good 5% off the highs from yesterday, and we can see here on the five-day chart, we're still holding an uptrend, right? We can see we hit 25.40 yesterday, which took out the highs from the last couple of days, and now we're just seeing a little bit of a retracement here where, again, clearly on the five-day here, we can see we're holding an uptrend. And on this 10-day chart, we still have a golden cross. We're above the 180 SMA, which is great here. But as we peel the layers back a little bit, we're going to notice, okay, we got rejected, at least as of now in the short term, in the mid-25s, right? We can see we did not retake that level as of now. We still have three and a half hours left of trading, but as of now, we did not take that level, retake that level from yesterday, right? It would have been ideal today for the Bulls um, to get over 2550, 2575. That would have been awesome, right? Great for the Bulls, uh, but nope. Instead, we got rejected. Again, we have a red day across the board, which is probably fueling this fire, uh, but you know, we got rejected here, and, and by fire, I mean to the downside, right? <laughs> you know, we got that um, selling across the board and we got rejected. So for later today, which I don't think we're going to break out above 2550, 2575 later today, unless we get some crazy catalyst. So that's probably not going to happen um, today, at least. But for later today, I want to see if we consolidate, maybe start to see a little bit of movement back towards the mid 24s heading into the weekend, right? Then next week, when next week rolls around, if we could retake 25, 2550, 2575 and start pushing 26, okay, that'd be what the bulls really need to see. But as of now, we're not getting that quite yet and we're in this window right here. We're kind of sandwiched between 2550 as resistance with support at about 24, 24, 25. So let's see if we could start pushing, um, you know, towards again this 25 level, right? Let's see if we can start rebounding here in the second half of the day heading into next week. That would be ideal for the Bulls for next week's setup, right? That's kind of what I'm trying um, to get at here. And on the four hour chart, if I pull this up, you guys can see um, clearly the 2550 resistance, 2575, like we've been covering here on the channel for quite some time. And if that point is able to break, guys, we could be going to 27, 2750. Then if that point ultimately breaks, we could be going even higher. But as of now, we got to be patient. And like I said in my video, in my recent Palantir update, I think I told you guys, um, you know, this stock went up so much. Now it's kind of in the consolidation phase. It's been in for about a month, month and a half, two months. And then we might be getting that next move. We might be getting that next move. And that's what you guys have to realize with these growth stocks, right? They're not just going to go straight up to the moon with no pullbacks and no consolidation periods. We're going to have times of um, not even weakness. This isn't weakness, but we're going to have times of consolidation, which is what we're getting right now. So I set my alert at 2550. Let me do another one at 2750. Why not? Mark is that we're above 2750. And then I'll do another one. Let me do another one 
at $26, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. So what do you think about Palantir? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that being said, guys, let me actually dive into some other stocks here that I'm looking at that are looking pretty decent and some that are not looking um, so decent. They're selling off here. So we have NVIDIA now starting to break back towards all-time highs. And let me show you this chart here, guys. Obviously, it looks really bullish. It's been looking bullish for quite some time. But in the very short term, this looks like it's going for all-time highs. We can see right here, if I zoom in, we just hit 9.35 to about 9.40 back on the 13th of March. So about a week, 10 days ago, we hit that level, right? And now we're starting to break past it. Notice how NVIDIA is up over 3%, up 30 bucks. It's at 943 bucks in the midst of an overall red day, mind you, which shows you the strength here. NVIDIA is getting out of there, and the next gap to fill is 975 and if that point is able to break whether it's you know next week the week after that i have no idea maybe it doesn't happen who knows but ultimately if we do get above 975 guys we could be going towards a thousand that that you know the the milestone level a thousand and we could be going even higher than that so i'm pointing this out to you guys right now heading into next week this is a very um, bullish setup, and, and and who knows? By the time you're watching this video, we could already be at a thousand. That's the kind of company or stock, shall I say, um, that Nvidia is, right? So NVDA is moving yet again today. What else is new? Three percent in the green. We have Foot Locker up about two percent, trying to recover um, after the complete collapse that it saw post earnings. So we have Foot Locker um, trying to get back. Uh, back to where it was, we have Google moving yet again today, guys. Look at that, 1.8% green day for Google, almost at all-time highs yet again, which who bought the dip up, guys? I bought the dip up. Not to toot my own horn, but I saw this thing come down from 155 to 130, and I was like, all day, give me that, all day. I bought the dip, and here we are back over 150 now. Boom, like that, in no time it seems like. So, yeah, Google, all-time highs right around the corner, it seems like. And, guys, these earnings are creeping back up here. Big tech's numbers are actually about one month away. So it's going to be an interesting April, um, to say the least, the end of April at least. Google's looking to report on the 23rd of April, so about a month away from today. And, uh, yeah, you know, in anticipation of those earnings, we could be going to all-time highs. And who knows, even higher than that. So we're watching Google, of course, watching NVIDIA very closely. Um, it looks like Apple is making a move today as well, up 0.6%. It's at 172 bucks, but not showing any signs of a reversal at all quite yet. But of course, I'm still watching it as always. And when it comes to some green or excuse me, some red names, what's selling off today, guys? We have Visa selling off a bit, ticker symbol V. This is after it just hit 290. Now we're coming down to 285. Was that an all-time high, by the way? Probably, right? Yeah, we just hit an all-time high on Visa. Now it's pulling back a bit. So keep your eyes on the red there. Um, Coinbase is also selling off after this just hit a fresh high. Not an all-time high, but a high on the four-hour chart, that is. So keep your eyes on Coinbase, C-O-I-N is the ticker there. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also let me know where you're watching this video from, what country, what state, what city. And if you guys want some free stocks, hey, why not? Use that Moomoo link down below. Check out the QR code right here or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks, you get five stocks and fund it with at least $1,000 you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks and each of those could be valued up to two thousand dollars so get on it guys what are you waiting for the clock's ticking use that link down below and with that being said cheers i'll catch you all in the next one